Good morning, brothers and sisters. Well, I left this up. Okay. <clears throat> well, good morning. Um, we begin our morning prayer on this Friday, May 22nd. Um, the sun, well, it's there. There's a, there's a strip of blue sky anyways. Um, but I would not necessarily say that the sun is shining. Um, but uh, that is okay. We will, we will make it through. Um, so as we begin our, uh, our morning prayer today, um, just a reminder and uh, that uh, today begins uh, the Pentecost Novena. Um, today begins the Pentecost Novena. Um, and so uh, there'll be a, I'll be posting something a little bit later uh, about that, so a Novena for us to be able to pray together. Um, but let's begin our morning prayer today. And so we begin, Lord, open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. The Lord is risen, alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, to, come then, let us bow down in worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Alleluia, sing to Jesus, is the scepter, is the throne. Alleluia, is the triumph, is the victory alone. Hark the songs of peaceful Zion, thunder like a mighty flood. Jesus out of every nation has redeemed us by his blood. Alleluia, not as orphans are we left in sorrow now. Alleluia, he is near us. Faith believes nor questions how. Though the cloud from sight received him when the forty days were o'er, shall our hearts forget his promise? I am with you evermore. Have courage, my son. Your sins are forgiven. Alleluia. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O oh, wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses truly I know them, my sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done, that you may be justified when you give sentence, and be, with, and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom, O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. 
Make me here rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help, with a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice a contrite spirit, a humble contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocausts offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, he who knew no sin was made sin for us, to save us and restore us to your friendship. Look upon our contrite heart and afflicted spirit and heal our troubled conscience, so that in the joy and strength of the Holy Spirit, we may proclaim your praise and glory before all the nations. Have courage, my son. Your sins are forgiven. Alleluia. You go forth to save your people, to save your anointed one. Alleluia. O Lord, I have heard your renown, and feared, O Lord, your work. In the course of the years, revive it. In the course of the years, make it known. In your wrath, remember compassion. God comes from Taman, the Holy One from Mount Paran. Covered are the heavens with his glory, and with his praise the earth is filled. His splendor spreads like the light. Rays shine forth from him, rays shine forth from beside him where his power is concealed. You come forth to save your people, to save your anointed one. You tread the seas with your steeds amid the churning of the deep waters. I hear and my body trembles. At the sound, my lips quiver. Decay invades my bones. My legs tremble beneath me. I await the day of distress that will come upon the people who attack us. For though the fig tree blossom not, nor fruit be on the vines, though the yield of the olive failed and terraces produce no nourishment, though the flocks disappear from the fold and there be no herd in the stalls, Yet I will rejoice in the Lord and exult in my saving God. God, my Lord, is my strength. He makes my feet swift as those of hinds and enables me to go up upon the heights. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You go forth to save your people, to save your anointed one. Alleluia. Zion, give praise to your God. He has brought peace to your borders. Alleluia. O praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters hoarfrost like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth his word and it melts them. At the breath of his mouth, the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel, his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
Lord, you established peace within the borders of Jerusalem. Give the fullness of peace now to your faithful people. May peace rule us in this life and possess us in eternal life. You are about to fill us with the best of wheat. Grant that what we see dimly now as a, in a mirror, we may come to perceive clearly in the brightness of your truth. Zion, give praise to your God. He has brought peace to your borders. Alleluia. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. God, the God of our fathers has raised up Jesus, whom you put to death, hanging him on a tree. He whom God has exalted at his right hand as ruler and savior is to bring repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. We testify to this. So too does the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those that obey him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. He hung upon the cross for us. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. <clears throat> Because he suffered death, we see Jesus crowned with glory and honor. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Because he suffered death, we see Jesus crowned with glory and honor. Alleluia. God the Father raised up Christ through the Spirit, and will also raise up our mortal bodies. Let us cry out to him, Lord, raise us to life through your Holy Spirit. All Holy Father, you accepted the holocaust of your Son in raising him from the dead. Accept the offering we make today, and lead us to eternal life. Lord, raise us to life through your Holy Spirit. Look with favor on all we do today, that it may be for your glory and the sanctification of the world. Lord, raise us to life through your Holy Spirit. May our work today not be in vain, but for the good of the whole world, and through it lead us to your kingdom. Lord, raise us to life through your Holy Spirit. Open our eyes today to recognize our brothers and sisters and our hearts to love them so that we may love and serve each other. Lord, raise us to life through your Holy Spirit. And today we also pray um, for all of those people who have asked for our prayers, all of those people that we've promised to pray for. We pray especially for those that we know who are sick or who are suffering especially those struggling with, with cancer or other diseases and ailments and the treatments for them. We pray also for those who, um, are, who have the coronavirus uh, and who are 
suffering from that, those who are hospitalized. We pray then also for all of our healthcare workers, for our doctors and our nurses, and those who work in, in other ways in, um, in the different hospitals. We pray for, um, we pray for all of those, who, all of us who are healthy, for our patients, for gentleness in our own relationships, especially at home. We pray for all of the people of St. Patrick, St. Anthony Parish, that the Lord will continue to pour out his blessing and his grace upon each of us. Pray in a particular way um, for the Grand Rapids Police Department and the Grand Rapids Fire Department and all of the priests of the Diocese of Grand Rapids as we grieve and mourn the loss of Father Dennis Morrow. And then praying also for the repose of the soul of Father Dennis, um, that he would spend little time in purgatory and be today in the company of the saints. For all of the things that we have in our hearts today, we lift up our voices and together, using those sacred words that Jesus himself gave us, together we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer that through your gospel, that your gospel may reach all men, and that we who receive salvation through your word may be your children in deed as well as in name. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. All right, brothers and sisters, uh, as I mentioned at the very beginning, um, today begins the novena for Pentecost, the, uh, the first in the original novena, um, waiting for nine days for the Holy Spirit to descend upon the apostles. And so um, there will be a post a little bit later uh, about that to pray a novena together. Um, but also just want to uh, remind everyone um, that uh, I know we were able to have that um, call it big or call it little um, driving uh, celebration. But if you run into a senior, someone who's graduating from high school, um, be sure to congratulate them. Um, I would say you run out and give them a hug, but apparently we're not allowed to do that anymore. Um, but uh, be sure to congratulate them. I mean, what a what a strange uh, what a strange final year of high school for them uh, as they break forth into the world, um, and perhaps what a very strange fall this will be for them going to going to college. So remember uh, remember to thank uh, remember to congratulate them. Uh, but remember to pray for them, too, uh, as they enter into this crazy, strange, brave new world. All right. Well, God bless all of you. Uh, I hope you have a beautiful day. Um, and remember to please be safe, be healthy. But above all today, please be holy. All right. God bless you.